Hey, 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 it's Tim here, the Pink Ninja, as some of you know me as, on the Close to 7 channel, and this is an episode of Life, and we're here today because of that there in the top corner, FND Awareness Day in the UK, 25th of March 2021, which is today, or was today, depending when you're listening to it. Oh yes, FND is Functional Neurological Disorder and non-epileptic attack disorder which is part of the umbrella and I suffer from many symptoms from the FND umbrella yes you may not have heard the uh, condition it's not that well known and it doesn't show up any sort of real effects when you're plugged into machines and that which is why the issue is there it can cause many conditions motor or sensory symptoms which can vary over time and include seizures, paralysis, weakness and problems with balance, speech, vision, understanding, bladder and bowel control and so much more. Prolonged symptoms like seizures are not inherently dangerous. We don't necessarily need hospital every time. Symptoms are believed to be due to signalling problems within the brain and may be as debilitating as MS or epilepsy but have no known psychological or organic causes. And living with this is my new normal, basically. My, the only new normal that I, I, I want to live with. And hopefully, I don't need to live with it forever. But I do struggle sleeping. I seizure six plus times most days. My best has been 22, or best, I should say worst. Uh, because I never want to seize that much. It has gradually got worse over the years. I was diagnosed back in May 2018. I did suffer it from, from it for longer than that one. It's now three years down the line. I'm still battling. I'm told it's going to be another 18 months before I can actually get to see someone that can actually, hopefully, help me. I would like to do it sooner. People have said, why don't you go private? I have looked at going private. I've actually done some stuff privately in the past. But the cost is horrendous. I've been quoted by somebody who's really good, £160 an hour. I can't do £160 an hour. Uh, no, not whilst I'm paying into our National Health Service, uh, as I'm not at the moment, really, because I'm not really working, because I can't work due to the issues with this. I rely on uh, those in the court up that way. There we go, look, the yellow perils, my two walking sticks. And my mobility scooter, my Skur Sterling S700. Sounds really fast, doesn't it? Eight miles an hour. Beep, beep. You look out for me. I will mow you down in Tesco. But, hey, I don't plan to. No. So so that's my new normal. I'm, I'm forever sort of tired. And a lot of the time, I do struggle to focus on things. And if it does seem like I'm ignoring you, I'm not ignoring you. It's just that my brain and everything else isn't in that frame of mind on a daily basis. I do come round from seizures where I can't see for minutes, even hours. Also, I come round confused, dazed, and I have come round on the odd occasion thinking, it's 2001! I know that sounds good this year, doesn't it? But it's not, trust me, it's not. There is a video that was done on what, an incident that happened, I think it was the 7th of September 2019. Look out for that one. I will tag it to the end of this video for you. That was a scary situation. That woke me up on a lot of things. I've had one incident on my early days where I was soaking in the bath. I used to love a good hour soak in the bath. That doesn't happen anymore. It's a quick five minute dip and out whilst I'm being watched by the wife. Uh, hi, it was the dog, my wonderful trusty little lady Tilly she went down to get fetch mum and I was blacked out in the bath with water here now normally I would have filled the bath probably about that much higher in water so if I had done it to my normal bit it wouldn't have been there it would have been there which if it wasn't for my poochie I might not be with you talking to you today no, 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 no. But that was sort of one instance, and that's only happened once. The bath I've got now where we live is a little bit smaller. And the good thing is, if my feet are at the bottom there and I'm at the back, 
then doesn't matter how I have it, I can't physically lower down any further. I can fall forward, but it's going to be difficult for me to get under. But I don't have it much anyway, and I don't go in the bath without anybody around me for my own safety. There's so much that I had to give up because of FND and, and my non-epileptic attack disorder. So, you know, one of many things, that's how it can cause it. We just need more awareness because there is a lot of people that think it doesn't exist. It's not real. I've even had medical professions in hospitals tell me it's not real. I had a doctor in A&E turn around and tell me in Peterborough and say that uh, neurologists aren't always correct, you know. I don't think there's nothing wrong with you. Well, hang on a minute. So, do you want me to go back to the neurologist and tell him what you told me? No, you don't. I've had people in A&E that's told me, oh, you've got that condition that doesn't exist. It's all made up in your mind. Uh, no, don't say that. I have to keep quiet because if I answer back, then I'll be classed as being aggressive and they'll call security on me. But people need to be aware this is a real illness. I wish it wasn't. I wish I could just get up tomorrow, go to work and have a normal life rather than get up for a few hours then spend most of my day lay in bed. Uh, I know I have other problems with my back and other conditions as well but you know I do need to get down and relax. I spend most of my day in bed, lay on bed, uh, watching things, doing things. There's a lot more I want to do but I struggle to focus. I know I'm not always the best at replying to comments and commenting on video people's videos. I try my best but sometimes I watch them on the TV and my brain doesn't get into gear. So I do apologise for that, but I do love you all. All the channels out there in the Scratcher community, in the Eurodance community, the music community. I have so many friends worldwide. I love my music. I have so many friends within the music industry that I love. Hopefully one day I can go back to see them live, because we all need live music in our lives, without restrictions and without stupid things like passports and what have you just to be able to get in the door uh yeah so i just thought i'd make you awareness it's fnd awareness day it is a debilitating uh, condition and there's many many people out there in the world that do suffer from it i know a few people that suffer from it just from my friends i've had people that's explained that they kept going to a and e with the daughter this was in peterborough and they've said don't bring her anymore there's nothing wrong with her but the conditions she explained was my conditions. So I've told her, you need to tell them about this and get the help that should be out there and get the diagnosis. Because she has got, in my eyes, non-epileptic attack disorder. But they just wipe it off and wipe it. To try and get help is impossible. And try and get financial help is even more impossible. But we need to make this aware. We need to make the... NHSC, although we don't really have an NHS, we have all separate trusts. Salford NHS Trust, brilliant, great, so much helpful. Give documentation, give little ID cards. Not this one, but very similar with the NHS on. This one from uh, FND Awareness, I hope, one of the charities. But, you know, it's not all the way around. Some don't even care or can't even care. I started seeing a therapist, her first words to me on the first one was, I'm not aware of the condition, but I have done a quick 10 minute Google search, so I think I know what I need to do now. Doesn't fill me with confidence, come on. A Google search, what she looked on, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is something I've had the paramedics say. Well, according to Wikipedia, they tell me to. So for paramedics taking medical advice from Wikipedia, you know, what help have we got? You know, I didn't have a go at her because of that. I said to her, there's more credible sources you could be looking at, like the NHS website. You know, but hey, I've rabbited on a little bit too much, but I just wanted to make you aware and thank you for watching and supporting FND Awareness Day. It is FND month in April as well. But hey, I just wanted to have a rabbit. Thank you for listening, whoever you are, if you're from different communities that's not from sort of uh, FND health-wise then thank you. I've got a wonderful Scratcher community, music community and everything else. I want to thank you all. I do love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to sign off now because I do need to relax a little bit because I'm, I'm doing a sort of in a drop-in session thing this afternoon. 
and one this evening. Fingers crossed, hopefully I can manage them both. But hey, I will see you all soon. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, whatever day it is you're watching this. A great weekend and hope you're all nice and healthy and doing well. And if you do want to hook up with me, please, please, please hook up. Get in contact with me. If you suffer, get in contact with me. Let's all join together. Let's join forces. Let's have an amazing time. So I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching today. Bye-bye now. Bye.